the problem isn't how they're getting these weapons. To me, it's about how are our kids becoming so violent. A rise in youth gun violence has many officials speaking about ways to combat the growing issue. Just two days ago, we told you about a 15 year old shot and killed in South Tucson and a 17 year old arrested in connection with the homicide. And today, Tucson police are sharing photos of guns found after a recent traffic stop on the east side. They say two 17 year olds threw out a pair of loaded handguns with extended magazines. The teens are now facing felony charges. 13 News reporter Renee Romo joins us live outside the Sheriff's Department. Renee, uh, you spoke with a sheriff along with a banner trauma surgeon about this dangerous issue. What do they suggest in terms of a solution? Well, Valerie, unfortunately, it is a growing issue, but both the sheriff and the doctor have a similar solution. Be proactive in outreach to kids and parents to prevent any more tragedies. Dr. Christina Colosimo, trauma surgeon at Banner, told me that the majority of gunshot wound patients she sees typically vary from as young as 15 years old to 25. Along with being the assistant pediatric trauma director, Colosimo also is the director of interprevention outreach, where she visits middle and high schools around Tucson, educating students on gun violence, safety, and more. So it's never too young to start talking to them about what we're seeing in Tucson. Over the past few months, we have reported on multiple incidents involving students bringing or threatening to bring weapons to school or shootings involving teens. Nanos explained the type of weapon used varies. If it's at a school, they usually see some type of automatic rifle. However, Nanos said the most common weapon in general is a handgun. When it comes to how kids are getting a hold of these weapons, Nanos said they could come from anywhere, a friend, illegal market, neighbor, or parent. We need to, to be involved and engaged with our kids so that when the incident that happens, that's too late. It's way too late. And by the time we get to that scene where that young 14 year old's been shot or shot someone, it, it's too late. Colosimo told me that her outreach team has already been able to intervene with about 200 students, while also learning that about 40% of the students they've talked to in middle and high school have been affected by gun violence, with 30% admitting they've shot a gun before. These intervention efforts give Colosimo a chance to avoid another tragedy. When a person comes in with a gunshot wound to their head, all I'm left to do is, you know, cradle their family, talk to them about how devastating this is, try to provide them as much support as possible. Nanos continued to stress the importance of parents and law enforcement coming together to provide a safer environment for children. But he realizes that can be easier said than done. Oh my goodness, today's world is really getting tough. It's tough to be a kid. It's got to be tough to be a parent, tougher to be a parent. Now, Colosimo said that their outreach efforts are made possible thanks to various organizations, but it doesn't just stop at the school level as they want to help anyone affected by gun violence. Live at the Pima County Sheriff's Department, Renee Romo, 13 News.